okay? Uh, my title will be the MOOCs uh, for general law courses, and I will use the experience of the NOU, the National Open University, and talking about the potential for international collaboration. Uh, and myself is also the uh, associate professor of law at the Faculty of Social Science at the National NOU, National Open University. So the so the general the the video will be divided into the, the four part. Uh, first, I will talk about how, why we are using teaching the general courses, and then the second the question will be why we are using the books for general law courses and then followed by the sharing the experience of the NOU and the Department of Social Science. Now we are take, uh, pick up uh, two examples. Uh, the first is the course of light technology and law. The second will be the criminal exploration. Then we will review how this work, work and also we can present some of the reflection and the conclusion and also discussing the potential for further international collaboration. Next slide. First issue, why general courses? As everybody knows, the legal education can be generally divided into two parts. The first is the professional legal education. And the second one will be the general legal education. Uh, professional legal education are normally provided to train the practitioner of the legal system, such as a lawyer, justice, then also the uh, future scholar of law, then also some person who are interested in, in policy setting. But uh, as everybody knows, uh, most of the professional legal education are provided in a very formal way. They are uh, normally uh, at the university level, or in some states such as US, USA, they are also a, a post bachelor degree about that. And why we are uh, teaching about the general law courses, because in contrast to professional legal uh, education. General law courses are just to help the ordinary people, the lay people, to understand what will be the law and how the legal process and how the legal system works. So it's very, and the purpose is simple because the understanding how our legal system in each nation will be a very critical and a very core mission for any people to be a citizen of modern state. And also the law, order, and the concept of democracy uh, pay, uh, pay, serve as the foundation of civil society. This all proves that general law courses are very important. And, and further, for practical need, uh, every day we can encounter a lot of the legal issues in our daily life. For instance, the car accident, or any kind of a business transaction, or even you rent a house. So all you need to, to have some general knowledge about law and to provide you to help to, to, to plan your life and also to any kind of further issue. Further, and you need, in case of dispute, you need to have some legal knowledge. And the why MOOCs will work for general law is because the traditional or special uh, professional legal education they are uh, talking in uh, the traditional way by lecture, discussion, or some case study, and such as that. So that will be the, uh, present a kind of in-depth discourse between teacher and the student. So you, it's, uh, what is law? Uh, a lot of uh, abstract and concept term application are talking about. So the key issue for students, uh, how easy we can make to let like layman, not a professional lawyer uh, to be to understand so such a com complicated and also abstract system of law. Yeah. So multimedia, uh, if properly designed and used, can provide a very powerful and very effective tool to let students understand how laws work in action and how we can use that. For instance, in terms of the uh, just a legal concept, the tort, the tort will be, uh, if you are using a, a so legal term to say, there will be a, a legal act that's a willful or negligent by one person, which is the injuries, the right or interest of another person and the cause them causing some uh, damage to another person. So there will be a lot of accounts, abstract and the concept such as uh, what is the illegal, uh, what is the intent, what with the causation, uh, so, so, such as that. Those will require a lot of intensive uh, discord between the teacher and student to further explain how they are going to work with that. But in fact, for 
ordinary people understand the idea, we can use a simple image, uh, for instance, like the picture uh, car accident during the people try to just run against the red light and hit other person. Then they, they will press precisely get a, this the best idea of what is going on and what it means by these uh, legal provisions. Then let's see how MOOCs uh, for general courses are, are over in Taiwan. Uh, actually, there are a lot of five uh, very popular uh, uh, MOOCs uh, platform in Taiwan. That's the Taiwan Life and U1. U1 is a private uh, platform. That's all the MOOCs and the open life and, uh, and the e-learning platform. E-learning is just a, a specifically focused tool for uh, civil service members who are interested in increasing their knowledge. And, but by further look, we can see that there are very limited calls about the general law courses. There, in, for instance, for E1, the private platform, there are more than 2,000 courses over there, but only about less than 10 are truly about the general law courses. And mostly they are talking about the human rights law or general IP laws or constitution law. And, and why would that? That is probably because uh, the platform are just a kind of a provider of those courses. They are not engaged in production of those courses. Producing, pr production of a MOOCs course are really require a lot of the skill and also equipment, hardware, both hardware and software. And then, so we come to the, uh, share it with you the uh, experience at MOU and PSC. MOU is a national open university that try to be the, the uh, post-secondary education, especially on the digital learning and the online learning part. They are also together, all together, six departments uh, in the NOU, and the most, and which NOU is also the operator of the Taiwan Life, one of the most popular uh, books uh, platform in Taiwan. Okay. Uh, in actually, uh, the, the most of the general law courses that are provided by NOU are over by the DOS, the Department of Social Science. They're covering a lot of basic idea about the supposed substantive law and also the procedural law, like civil procedure or criminal procedure. And the law courses are offered by via two tracks. The first is prime track. Mostly, this course in this track are provided on online learning. And the second, there are supplementary track. Uh, mostly, uh, are some kind of special program. The special program are more career career oriented which with low in class uh, teaching, uh, but also supported with the online learning. This is uh, open uh, with some kind of administrative support by our extension school and the local teaching center. And total low courses generally uh, provided by uh, Department of Social Science about, we are planning to about it, uh, within four or five years, uh, students can take about altogether 30 courses about general law courses. This is because we think students might plan as a plan to study uh, and also to graduate in four or five years. Uh, let's uh, then talk about some specific examples. The first course is uh, called Life Technology and the Law, LTL course. This course is about the 18 weeks courses, also basically focusing on the introduction to our legal system and legal proceeding also talking about the general IP law and business, and also focus on how the technology development impact our social life. Uh, for instance, like the data protection and privacy protection, and also internet crime and surrogate motherhood, all these kind of social issues uh, that people are interested in their daily life uh, will be the subject of this course. And the course will com is composed of about 30 or more uh, minutes uh, per unit. Uh, each unit will, will have some kind of a combination of lectures, a panel discussion, dramas, or news clipping, or even invite a commentator, a judge, or lawyer to, uh, to make some comment. And after each session, there will be a quiz and a printout for students to answer on the screen. And how this course uh, students are uh, evaluating and also uh, grading. We have offered this course two times. The first time there will be mostly the online study only, uh, but with also four times our online teaching. And students just submit their report for grading. For the second time, with, with much low, much more students. Uh, so there will be also supported with the in-class teaching and also uh, written examination. So the attendance of this course 
Uh, first time we over discussed in 2016, there will be altogether 261 students. And uh, in the uh, last year, the fall, fall semester of 2019, uh, uh, we have a lot of more students, seven, more than 700 students. Uh, the reflection is still different students. And so students for, for teachers, that will be a little bit uh, difficult for us to assess the, the actual uh, status of students' learning and status of their progress, especially in the first time we over, we are only use the online uh, online system. And also the second issue we in the contact is that there will be some kind of technology problem, or that it cause the internet overflow. When students after reading a session, they want to answer the quiz question at the screen probably get, and they want to when they finish one question and they want to go back again the screen just disappeared or something, this kind of a uh, technical issue, make the students some kind of a complaint about how it's going on. Yeah. The second thing- yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah, your time's up. Okay, I tell, I'm sorry, sorry. That, yeah, so. your time's up. So, because we have a very tight schedule, so I'm sorry I have to interrupt you. Yeah. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, that, but I, I will upload my, my, my material as a, in, in my session uh, column. So everybody welcome to give me some comment. Thank you.